So for this breakdown, we're going to take a look at Dwayne Casey out of timeouts or after quarters, not the end of the game situation, not true end of the game. So first first quarter of the game, halftime, timeout, stuff like that. And first, we're going to look at different Spain pick and roll way and ways he's been able to get in this. So here we're going to go handoff into the Spain pick and roll. Cade with the ball, Stewart going to roll, and here comes Sadiq Bay, And you see a nice little just twist with that with the handoff first as Cade gets this one deflected. Now we're going to see one out of a staggered. So we're going to start off with the staggered screen here and Frank Jackson is going to come from the corner and come be the guy that comes and sets the back screen and pop and you see here it gets him open. So that just little wrinkle look right there is able to confuse the defense enough that Frank Jackson is able to get a look. And then this is they ran this twice in three possessions after a timeout. It ended up being a 9-0 run with another three but here kind of your traditional look. And you see all sorts of personnel ran it. We see Kay with the ball, Joseph with the ball, now Sadiq with the ball. And watch what Isaiah Stewart does here. He runs right into Cade Cunningham's man as he rolls to the basket and sets that screen, gets Cade a wide open look. So right there, out of timeouts, start games, quarters, you see just the Spain different the different Spain pick and roll looks that Dwayne Casey and his staff has come up with. Now I'm going to talk about some actions I just like. This first one, I love the ball movement. So we have a handoff. We're going to reverse the ball. Dwayne Casey loves the a screen into a DHO so we get screen into DHO now we get Cade going down here and we get an exchange on the weak side I just love this action in general even though it doesn't end up in a bucket you get Cade Cunningham going to his right hand and lots of movement this one is an action I've highlighted before so starts off in the handoff into another one, ball reversal, right into a ball screen with like Luca Garza. I would like this screen to be there quicker on the catch. Now we get the ball screen and pop, catch, back door, and we're going to reverse back to this side. So again, you see the flow and the ball moving side to side on those two actions right now right there. So here in the Lakers game, we're going to get a pop from Sewer. And then here again, the screen into a handoff. It's interesting how much you see these actions getting Cade Cunningham going to his left hand. That's something that's very interesting to me. On this one, I think Sadiq Bey should just go ahead and space here and get the, the kick. He starts to go back door. We don't get anything out of it. Now, with that said, those were kind of the positives. I like all the different Spain pick and roll looks. I like those actions we saw there. Now, some of the areas where I think that this team could get better. So, starting the third quarter here against the Warriors, and a lot of these turn into ISO. So, we get the staggered screen there. Don't know that we get great screens. And then I'm not really sure what the action is looking for here as Killian passes. And I don't know if this is a little slip screen that's supposed to get Jeremy Grant downhill, but as you can see with a lot of these, they turn into ISO. So, I'm not really sure what the action was supposed to be there. Now we get another staggered as we go to Cade Cunningham. This is the start of the Lakers game. And then a baseline staggered here. And because we really don't get the screen set, we don't get a huge advantage for Jeremy. Even though he does catch, I would like to see Jeremy go ahead and attack to the middle right now. But he doesn't really feel like he has the advantage. Now the defense is set and that initial action to start the game hasn't really created an advantage and it ends up in a turnover as Jeremy Grant tried to pass that across and Anthony Davis got the steal. And now I'm going to talk about like just a little bit of confusion. So right here you see Hami pointing at Frank. Doesn't look like anybody knows what they're supposed to do. This is the start of the fourth quarter. It looks like Corey Joseph is just up here dribbling the ball around, but it's because nobody has gotten their spots. And I kind of like this little circle action here and then Frank coming off the staggered on the baseline, but because Corey Joseph has had to dribble like it's 14 seconds into the possession and Joseph hasn't passed the ball he just dribbled up top they end up trapping him and we get nothing no flow no momentum nothing going to the basket there so you can see where it's not just the sets but also sometimes the execution on the floor as you'll see here with the Spain pick and roll so again now we see guys in different spots Sadiq setting it to roll and I'm just a little confused on why Frank is floating all the way to the weak side wing on this instead of to the top of the key never really even fakes the screen on Sadiq's man and it ends up turning into an ISO and so that's what I really wanted to highlight on these is a lot of these plays end up turning into ISOs either because the design wasn't great, the execution wasn't great, or guys didn't know their role.